Hi, hey, Carrie. Rhonda. Hi. Thank you for doing this. So I we really thought we'd do it. We thought we'd do things a little different this time. And I don't really know how you got started as a ceramist and how long well, you've been doing this. Um, well, I have something to show you. Ah. <laughs> this was the first piece that I, that I ever made as far as I know. And I believe that it dates okay. back to like kindergarten or first grade or something like that. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you're a kid who doesn't like making something out of clay, you know, it's just really fun and it's so immediate. <laughs> okay, so your question was, how did we start as artists? And and I would say that I think everybody starts as an artist, but I'm really luck lucky to have this um, example of one of my first pieces, which I made, you know, when I was maybe in kindergarten or first grade, my mother saved it. It's a little damaged. I do remember that it was a chicken. So that's what a chicken looks like in case anybody wants to know. Um, anyhow, I just think that the things that I really liked about making um, things out of clay or making things in general really has not changed. My, um, my love for being able to manipulate um, materials is the same. I would say as it was back when I was a child. And I think that, uh, you know, it just makes, makes life a better, better experience. So anyhow, one of my early pieces, and I'm gonna show you one of the most recent. So the piece here is a tile, and I'm just gonna turn a little. This is a tile that I'm working on as a commission, and the carving is complete. And I'm just trying to, uh, trying to dry it really really slowly because it'll warp if I don't. Are you getting an okay view of that? Yes we are. Okay all right so I've got I've had it under these boards and actually weighted down now for about a week. It'll probably take another I'm trying to dry it as slowly as I possibly can. There we go. So um, this is for a customer who is doing a bathroom renovation and she wanted me to include um, this imagery um, as very meaningful to her. And, and as I've been working on it, it's become more meaningful to me. The lotus, which is the, this beautiful flower that grows in, the, in some not super wonderful conditions, but it's still beautiful and vibrant. And then this is the Fibonacci, you know, it's found in nature, um, architecture. It's a beautiful symbol that you see all over the place. It's kind of, for some reason, humans always do this. Even children, they tend to like to draw spirals. So, and then this is an infinity symbol. And, um, and, I, and I think when this is finished, dried, and I fire it, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to finish it with like kind of a white, a matte white so that it's the, I don't want the colors, I don't want colors to take over. I want the, the purity of the image. Um, and I think that's going to look great in her bathroom. So this has been a really fun project to work on and, and is nearly the hard part of it, I should say, is done. Now it's just to dry it and to fire it and to do the final finish. So that's what's going on with that. And then today in the studio, I was working on these tripod cups, I call them. Let me make sure I've got the angle right. Here we go. So these are kind of fun. Um, here's one that's just completed. So the work that I do in clay, I, I basically, if you've seen, if I've seen something, somebody else has done it normally, then it's just like off limits for me because that's not what I want to do. I want to make something that's not been done before, or at least I don't think it's been done before. And this uh, was, was thrown on the potter's wheel upside down. So it was thrown as a cylinder, a tube, without a bottom. I went all the way to the bottom to the wheel head and opened it up. Then I wired it off of the wheel head 
and worked on the the top, which becomes the bottom, okay, um, to create this tripod. And I wanna, I really pay a lot of attention to the way that the the curves look, the designs, the technical aspect of making things look like they um, they flow really nicely. And one of the challenges with a form like that, making it into a cup, is you don't want to just put any old handle on it. It needs something that's a little, um, that fits the design. So these are design challenges that I'm working with. So I came up with the idea of using that kind of thing for the handle. And I roll those out of clay to make a slab. And then I just, I cut out a bunch of them. And, and that gets me pretty close to where I need to be to get the shape that I need. And I spend time tooling the edges so that it will be a neat, a neat finish. And then I let them dry in kind of a handle shape. So these are drying a bit. They're not quite leather hard. They can still be moved but they hold their shape. And then the next step is to take one of the tripod cups and then make decisions about, you know, like where do I think that's gonna look good or, you know, how is that gonna function so that the weight is right and so that when you pick it up to drink, um, it will feel good so that you know, the balance will be right on the tripod. And um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of what's going on right now in the studio. And uh, yeah. Do you have a I, finished one, a fired one you can show us? Um, you know what I do, I'll show you, it's a second because it had a, like I fired it too closely to something and it's got a little spot on it, but hang on a minute, I'll be right oh. back. So you use a white glaze. Yeah. Yeah, I've been, I, it's, I, the focus is on the form. So what I really want out of these is attention to the design. So I don't want to detract from that by doing some kind of, you know, flowy, fancy, colorful, at least at this point. I don't, you know, maybe that will change because as we know, things change. Right. But for right now, I'm really happy with them being white. And when I get a bunch of them done and they're sitting next to each other, they look like they're having a little meeting. They're having a little coffee clatch. You know what I mean? Like they look, they, they just have some gesture and they're, they're fun, you know? You're, so anthromorph I, you're anthropomorphizing your mugs. I know, they're like little people. They're my little people. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Do you have any other questions or do you want me to? show you the i could show you the showroom if you want yeah i like you know i know that i know that there's other designs that have the same kind of feel so i'd love to see those you want to take a look okay yeah. here we go we're gonna go for a walk so i know carrie has kind of a basement um workspace and then she's also got this cool showroom down yeah, here. so this is the the door goes out to the back of the house, and this room is my um, gallery slash display area. You definitely have collect like distinct collections. Yes. Of work. Yep. Yeah, I have collections, and then now and then there will be a one off because it's just something that was left of something another group of things that I did, or maybe it was, it's an experiment and something that I want to do more of later. Um, so over here are the fossil pieces and all of these have like trilobites on them, ammonites, different, I think fossils are cool. They're like 520 million years ago. So this is all. You press them into the clay or you've made a mold? Um, my sister uh, had a huge collection of fossils. We made impressions of a bunch of them and she was using them with her kids at school. So we made all these impressions and she took some of them and I took some of them. 
So I have the negatives and I just take the negatives and press clay into the negative and then turn it around and press it into the, into the piece. So they're actual impression, they're impressions of actual fossils just once removed. And this is kind of a neat thing. These are, I call these garden walls and they're made out of a, like an S curve slab and then have the, the vessel or cups on top. These are hanging planters. I call them bubble planters because to me they're like little floating bubbles. Terracotta unglazed, allowing for the transfer of moisture and um, yeah, moisture and oxygen. And then this is my photo cube. If I for applying, if I'm applying for a show or I have, you know, I, I need to get a, a more formal photo of my work. And this is a kind of a bunch of different things here. Like I said, this is where we're getting into, uh, there's these one-offs or different experiments. I had this idea that you should set up a table at, a, um, at an archeology span uh, conference. Oh, that's such a good that's idea. Come on, let's go. One. Let's do it. If they, do you think they'll have conferences again? At some time. <laughs> and then you can advertise the hanging pots to people whose cats always knock their plants off the shelves. <laughs> you know, it, you just have to think about it to get that marketing angle, right? right? So a lot of what I do has to do with water, um, frogs, fish, Got a series of pieces that are related to to fish. I don't have any of the frog things they've they've sold. That's a good thing. People like the frogs. They do, yeah. Okay. So yep. we're coming to an end of our ten minutes. Okay. Does anyone have any questions for Carrie? There's my very beautiful timer sound. All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate thank you, the Perry. opportunity. How do I stop it?